Hey everyone, Marcos Vegas here in Las Vegas. Man right next to me, Abner Mars. It's already been a crazy week for us over here, but you just got here, I but uh, <laughs> you know, it's already you, crazy. <laughs> no, I was going to ask you that. What are your first impressions so far of everything that's going on? My first impression was, wow. <laughs> wow, seriously, man, this is, look at all this media, man. There's so many people in here just now. Imagine the weigh-in, imagine the fight, it's crazy, man. And for me, seriously, for us a boxer, and I think, uh, I think Mayweather, I think Pacquiao, and I think the people that are behind this, as a fighter, you know, as a, as a, as a, as a guy that works doing this, thank you. Why? Because it's, so, it's opening so many doors for us. Look at this, people are talking about boxing. People are just back in boxing, like boxing, boxing. And me to be fighting in this type of, you know, in this generation, in this, in this era, I'm, I'm blessed. Now, I know you wanted to fight on the undercard yes, sir. Uh, against Leo Santa Cruz. Uh, couldn't happen, timing issues and stuff like that. But talk to me about you wanting to take a fight like that. Uh, on three weeks notice because Leo's no joke you know you would think and a fan would think hey maybe you want a little bit more time to prepare for someone like that no why why no I was already in shape I was I was keeping myself busy I was keeping myself in shape and against Leo yeah I mean no disrespect to the guy but you know I, I think it's it's a guy I could beat you know three weeks was just enough you know he was he was telling me he's like no I don't think it's enough time for you this and that Bro, you're fighting a guy that you gave a week notice. You know, like, seriously. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I know, I know he's like he's saying that you know this is a bigger fight. Yeah, we can make it bigger. Yeah, I understand that. You know, and people are like, oh, Abner, stop it. Why are you calling Leo out? He's not gonna fight you anymore. Just stop it. Drop it. You know, he just want to be in this card. Yeah, I wanted to be in this card, but it wasn't mainly because of that. I just wanted to give the fans a, a great fight. You know, against Leo Santa Cruz. It would, it will happen soon, God, God willing. But um. You know, I'm just letting them know that I'm always ready. You know, there's a guy, though, that hovers over everyone. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are like, well, Abner, why are you calling out Leo when there's Rigondeau? So give me your thoughts. Why are you going to, to Leo first instead of Rigondeau? First of all, I'm not, I'm not going to Leo because I, I knew Leo was moving up to 126. People got it twisted. People think that I was going to move down to 22. I was never I can't make 122 anymore. You know, I was not going to go down to that. I was not going to fight for his world title. I was, yeah, I was waiting for him to move up. What is he doing? He's fighting on 126 this fight that be, just because I knew that. That's why I asked for the fight. He's breaking down because he's a 120. I can't, I can't make 122. If he can move up to 126, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? I, I say, I, I, I've named uh, bringing out. I will fight him whenever. Uh, uh, Quayar, Quayar, um, you know, Gary Russo, Johnny Gonzalez, and obviously Leo Santa Cruz. Five, five big names. Oh, forgetting Lomachenko. Sorry, uh, Walters. I'm sorry. There's so many. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And and I am gonna pick one of these for my next fight. You will see. And uh, I can't wait. I can't wait for for one of these fights to happen. And and I just you know. I'm just, I'm just excited because when you fight this, this magnitude, this type of fighters, this type, this type of level fighters, it makes you better. You know, I went through that. You know, I fought a lot of level fighters, a lot of big time, you know, world champions, and it made me the fighter that I am today. Not by fighting, you know, fighters that are nowhere, you know, close to my level. What do you make then of fans that bring up the recent level competition you've had? Uh, you know what? Look, I fought against Johnny. I got knocked out. Boom. What happens? Yeah, you don't want to come back like, oh man, I want to fight the bads. I want to. No, you take it easy. It's a sport. I want to be in it for a long time. I took a so called easy fight against uh, Jonathan O'Kendall. Guy was tough, man. I got a decision. After that, I fought um, Jesus Ramirez. I knocked him out. Boom. Last fight, I fought an ex Olympian, um, Arturo Reyes Santos, who gave me a good fight. You know, I'm not fighting a guy that I'm giving a two, uh, two, three week notice. You know, it's fights that fighters that you know get the time. You know, these are the the, the if not these these guys are more dangerous because they got nothing to lose, everything to win. You know, they come reckless. They come, you know, with everything they have. And at the end of the day, you know, I called I called my my manager. I called Al and I told him. That's why I tell Leo, Leo, you got a word. You could you could talk. You could say, Al, I'm I'm done fighting. You know, fights like this. Just make a big fight. I'm ready. And so there's no excuse for Lee to be fighting this type of fighters. I'm sorry to say this. His whole career. I'm sorry. His whole career. Name one fighter that he's faced. Good. Christian Mejares? Um, Who's that other guy that he, I don't know. There's like no name fighters that he's had fought. You know? Yeah, he's been a two-time world champion. How many times has he, has he defended his, his world title against a world champion or against a ranked number one? Never. 
You know what I'm saying? So would you say, in your opinion, you feel he's a little overrated in your eyes? I think he is. I think he is, and, and that's why I want to expose Leo Santa Cruz. That's why I want to fight Leo Santa Cruz. Is he a bad fighter? No, he's not. He's a good fighter. He's a tough fighter. And that's the same reason why I say he should be fighting, you know, the, the, the level of type of fighters that he should, to make him better and to bring his name up. You know what I'm saying? If anything, he's, 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 he's doing it bad. He's doing harm to his name and to uh, his career. But at the end of the day, you know, everybody thinks different, and, you know, it is what it is. So based on what you said, if a fan were watching this and would, be like, and would think, well, you know what, if you feel that he's not up to par, up to the level where we why put him as, why do you want to fight him instead of a Lomachenko or, or a Walters, instead of the guys that are perceived to be the top in that division? Again, I said he is a great fighter. He's a good fighter. I told you about his record. I told you he's fought. But I always said that he was a great fighter. And he, he brings a lot of excitement excitement into our styles. People want to see this fight. He's from L.A. I, I, I stay in L.A. We're the two best names out there right now. And people want to see this fight in Staples Center, period. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, I, yeah, I could go fight these other fighters. No problem. I don't care. But I want this fight, and people want this fight. You know what I'm saying? I just want it, I want it because the fight, fight fans want it, and we can make it happen. So you want it more so than the other fights because it's a bigger draw, yeah, you would there's say. No, there's no world title. No world title have to be on, on, online. Um, no, it could be a, a catch weight wherever he wants. You know what I'm saying? I just want the fight because I know it would be exciting because of his style and my style. Okay. Period. But then after that, you would target a Lomachenko or a Walters and stuff like that, obviously, right? Or even before. Yeah. Who knows? You know, I'm not gonna sit down and wait for you know for him to make up his mind and be like, all right, I want to fight him now. No, no, no. Uh, People, people think that, you know... So it's not even sure yet? No, it's, uh, no? Not. it's okay. not. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I want to fight a, a, a Gary Russell. Yeah, I want to fight a Lomachenko. Yeah, I want to fight a Walters. And, and let's hope that those fights get, get uh, made soon. I hope so, too, man, because knowing you in, in your career, you know, that Bantamweight tournament really lent a lot of credibility to you because not only were you forced to fight the top of the division, but you cleaned out the division uh, and everything like that. So uh, when people bring that up, I think, you know, it probably goes on your mind, too. Well, I did all this before in the past. I have no problem fighting no, these top guys. I moved up to featherweight, and I fought the champion at the time, uh, Ponce de Leon, who gave Brono a tough fight, who beat Johnny Gonzalez, who beat all these fighters, big puncher, and thank God, you know, I beat him. Yeah. You know, not only did I beat, I knocked him out, and I captured the world title. And then I went to another hard fight against uh, Johnny. Johnny's a good fighter. Could I beat him? Yes, I could beat him. Is he better than me? No, he's not. He, I'm not going to say you got lucky. Boxing, you don't get lucky in boxing. You know, it's, you get reckless, you get, you know, you lose sight of, you know, certain things. And I just got caught with a punch. Oh, well, I wanted the rematch thing. It didn't happen for a reason. He lost against Gary Russell. Now, you know, a possible fight against Gary Russell. Let's do it. Why not? So, still June, you think uh, you'll return back into the ring? Yeah, late June. Late, late June. June. Yes, sir. So, not sure yet if it's going to be Leo. It could maybe be Russell I because he be beat. Leo. I mean, come on, yeah. he's fighting, you know, couple of days now yeah. he won't be ready for June no I'm looking ahead you know I'm looking yeah. ahead I want another fight and uh, I'm just here to enjoy the fights that's it no I'm not here to look at Leo no I'm what am I gonna look at him beating up a, a guy that got a, a couple hours notice <laughs> and uh, speaking of the main event it's exciting a lot of people see it as maybe a landslide victory for Floyd a lot of people saying it could be competitive you as a fighter how do you see this fight in terms of how it'll play out at the end of the night I hope it lives up to his hype. <laughs> yeah, that's all of us. <laughs> that's, that's what I that's what I hope hope so. But um, if I just hope it, it it's a um, exciting fight in both ways. I know Mayweather he's not exciting because he doesn't throw a lot of punches. He's not a phenomenal knockout artist. But he brings in that finesse. He brings in that he brings brings that in that um, that boxing technique. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're a boxing expert, you're a boxing fanatic. You look at that. Oh wow, beautiful. You know. Oh wow, he. He moved, he did this, he did that, you know what I'm saying? He brings that into the table. And uh, in the other hand, uh, Pacquiao, he's just a reckless fighter, a fighter that comes forward, throwing punches, does not care if he gets hit or not. You know, I'm um, always looking for that knockout. And that's that thing. I think that's where it's going to cost him. I think I think he's going to get reckless. I think Mayweather's going to use that to, to his advantage and, um, you know, make him pay for making little mistakes like that. Should be a great fight. We hope. We hope. Because uh, you guys at home are paying a lot of money <laughs> to see it on pay-per-view. Here with Abner Mars in the press room in Las Vegas, Nevada. Mayweather Pacquiao happens this weekend. And maybe we'll see him back in the ring in June. But I know very soon. Wrapping things up here in Las Vegas, Marcos Vegas for the Boxing Channel.